Hi there, my name is Patmos and nice of you to join me for another video with Europa Universalis 4 and Italy. Let's load up and let's get going. Now the last time we did a few more conquests, we removed Austria from the map, but we are also the target of a coalition, so well, it could be wise to just lay low for a little while and not go too crazy. Now perhaps there are a few nice provinces we can core like states for instance this one this looks really good so that's probably one of the things we will be doing I'll get time rolling and then we'll see what else we can do we are at war with France but that's mainly because England went to war with France and we were kind enough to join Crush the revolution. At least that is the achievement we got. I like it. Ooh, this is costing me a lot of money. And we won't be doing that. Now, let's see. What can we do? I don't think we will be able to really take provinces or something, but, well, put those as provinces of interest. And... Perhaps our friend will give those to us. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Let's send up some armies there. I should probably keep these here. Let's unite these two. And then see destroy this one. I think we can. Well, at least I'm hoping we can. Yes, we did. Perfect. Well, that was a good battle. And it doesn't appear France is that strong. Does he still have his colonies? I don't think so. Only one. So, this is still a colony. Well, French Columbia broke free. It's now their own nation. That's very interesting. So France is losing... Ooh. And the Dutch are leaving the coalition against us, which is also a good thing for us. So all in all, that's looking rather okay. Let's move some of our troops back. Ottomans are giving us... We run for our money, but I guess we can deal with that. It's just a question of lowering all the... Ooh, they left the coalition while they are still rather pissed. Let's grant them a seat, that's fine. Spain is pretty pissed, Brandenburg is pretty pissed, so most nations will be in the coalition for a while. Not that that's a big issue, but, well, something to keep in mind. Let's make sure we make all the money we can. And perhaps the time has come for us to look around the world and see if there are places where we can sail and continue our wars. Now, going to war with Portugal, probably not that smart at the moment. But I think if we go to war, the coalition will come into effect. So even if we, like, declare war somewhere far away, to, I don't know, the Shun, I think if we do that... Well, I don't see the coalition jumping in, but... I'm not really sure how that works, that mechanic, but... Could well be that they just jump us then. Bohemia's opinion of Italy. No, oh, I don't care. Even if Bohemia turns his back on us, we're way stronger. So what's the Ottoman doing? Not that much. Britain is at war with France, Sunda and Cascadia. Now Cascadia... Sounds like something not too far away. Not 
sure. Hello, our truces are ending with Portugal, so at some point we could go to war with Portugal. We're still far ahead in time with all our technology, so we can just continue with this. Pick another idea. So I wonder what the British are up to. Moving his entire army. Is he gonna walk all that way up to Sunda? Which probably... Ooh, let's do that. Sunda should be somewhere here. Not sure if it is, but it should be, because it's one of the... Yeah, there it is. Well, that's a rather long walk. If he's gonna walk all that way. Not what I would do, but apparently that's what he's going to do. Our ports are blocked. Hmm. Not sure I'm worried about that. Oh wait, I'm sure I don't worry about that. Can't do anything about that. Well, that's just most unfortunate. We are doing rather well, so I'm not worried about all those things. Those small negative modifiers are fine by me. We could... create another army. In order to, at some point, perhaps, go to war with the Ottomans. Now that would be interesting. He has no manpower, so... But he has a rather big army. But yeah, at some point that could be a thing. Just go to war with the Ottoman. Well, we'll see. I'll speed the game up to speed 5 again. We'll see what the British guy will do with the French. So far, he's not doing much with him. Just in that war. Not really making any progress. So we'll have to wait and see. That's extra money, which is good. Can actually switch a few cultures, which is nice because that'll bring in more money. Well, it's very late game, doesn't really matter anymore. You have a pretty solid position. Your world powers. Now we could go for Portugal at some point. Try and make him weaker. Like capturing some provinces or something. Should we keep this guy? Well, we can lose the Republican tradition, that's no problem. So yeah, let's do that. Let's keep that very good guy. Giving us a lot of points. And we have rebels. Now, normally I wouldn't mind. But in this case, it probably means that we will lose that siege. And that's not well for our war, so... Yep, that's gone. We need to start a debate. An extra merchant development cost. I'm going to with this one. We're gonna bribe someone. Because that's cheap. Not going to ignore corruption. Lose one. Administrative support. Oh, we can lose further points. I don't mind those. And it's done. Perfect. Well. I think he would try to make a peace deal by now. Apparently he is not, but I would do that. Idea cost going down. Well, that's interesting since we've covered the last idea. We have new policies. Well, what policy should we get? Is there any interesting one? Years of separatism going down. That's nice. Costing us one, but that's fine. Extra diplomat. I don't need an extra diplomat. Don't really need any of these as well. So this is about it, I guess. Let's just keep it like this. Ah, there's the war. France will cede two provinces to us. That's nice. And nations are leaving the coalition against us. Well, I guess we should start coring, but don't have the points yet. Russia announced us their rival. And everyone is leaving the coalition against us. Now that's really nice. It appears the coalition is completely gone. So we can go to war again. Who would have thought that? Well. 
can't go to war. Oh, we can go to war, actually. With... Ah, France just turned to normal France. No longer the... Uh, I don't know, what do you call that? Revolutionary France, which is fine. Alright. Let's make those two provinces a core province. Just crushing rebels there. And perhaps go to war with Spain again. However, did he make new allies? Portugal won't join, Tibet won't join, but now Poland and Lithuania will join. Not exactly what I had in mind. Could go to war again with him, but maybe that's not too nice. So perhaps we should go to war with the Ottoman. He's regaining manpower, has a lot of mercenaries. We could get a few mercenary armies and then go to war with him. Why? I'm not sure, just for the fun, I guess. But it is an option. Should get our armies then, but. Oh, well, he has a pretty big empire. Probably a lot of forces. Oh, let's put that one into stability. Alright. Well, this is expensive, but it's fine. If we go to war, we will also go to war with Funch. Which I guess should be somewhere here. Yeah, not too big. Mombasa. Somewhere here, not too big. Marehan. No clue who they are. Probably same thing. And the Chagatai, which should be somewhere here, I guess. At least it sounds like it's a step unit. Step nation. Ah, there they are, the Chagatai. So, and Marehan could be somewhere here. Just a small nation, perhaps. So, I don't think we should be too scared. To actually go to war there. So yeah. Doesn't have two big allies and well, Bohemia wants to join. He won't. But no, if I pay off his debt he still won't join. He's still in another war. Perhaps if he wins that war, it'll all be done. So perhaps we should just gather our troops go crazy with a war. Well, I believe I have two big armies here, yes. So, well, one back. And I have to make a choice. Oh, we should lose this general here. Use him someplace else. So let's go. Should probably make him join there. Because then we can push him from here. Of course there is a chance he will just give get two big armies there. Which is a problem for us, but ah uh, we'll deal with that. Should we get a merchant army? Yes we should down there. So let's go. Decent forces there. Can they just walk? No, not yet. Should probably pick them up at some point too. Oh, we're just going to have some fun. If we lose, who cares? Ooh, we can pick another military idea. That's nice. Makes our military even stronger. We are level 30. He is the we are 31. He is 30, so that's good. We have two armies here now, so one of them should go back. And I think we should pick up an army here. Sorry for all the quick movements. Just trying to arrange everything so we can go to war. Now, if we pay off his debt, that would help. Then he probably will join. So, maybe... Oh, our golden era ended. Which is a shame. So that could also have helped us. But it's fine, I mean... 
Up the way the hit. And we should totally bring these guys there as well. Still making good money, even though we have those mercenaries, but that's fine. And yeah, how does he look? His manpower is climbing quite rapidly. We have a good army. And together with Great Britain and Bohemia, we should really be able to do a nice job. Although I don't know where Britain has all his armies. Oh, we can see quite a few are here. He's still in a war with Delhi. So I guess we'll have to wait until that war is fought because he has a big army here. Alright, he will import tea. That's fine. And our Diplo points are completely filled up. Let's see if we can do something with development in a few cheap provinces. Well, there's plenty to do right here. Which is nice because it's really cheap. Perfect. That made us stronger again. Let's spend some money. That will also help strengthen us. And should probably get two merchant armies. Right here. To assist in our war against the Ottoman. Oh, he has a big army here now. We should make peace with Delhi. So we can tell him, join us. Bohemia will, he won't. And we can't pay off his debt because his debt is as much money as we have. And he's a great power so we can take on his debt. Well, it was nice to think about it. Well, we are losing a bit of money. Which maybe isn't too smart yet. We can do that later. Concerned? Oh. No. Let's use that because I like my stability. His manpower is climbing very rapidly. He's at war with Sweden, Gotland, Bremen, and Lithuania. Interesting. Guess that could keep his troops occupied. And I don't think Sweden is that weak, actually. Oh, uh, he is. Alright. Well, don't know if there is a point in waiting. So, I'd say let's go. Off to war. And Bohemia will join. So, imperialism, I guess. Yeah, this is all not what we want, so we'll do the imperialism one. Let's go to war. Let's give this guy a general. Let's see how many free leaders I can have. A few more. Which is actually quite nice. Well, we can't go too far in yet. We'll take those ships, that's fine. I guess we have to take a few fortresses first. Slow it down a little bit because, well, we have to do a good job. And good jobs sometimes take time. Alright, damn dead to Dalmatia. That's probably better. Let's transport those troops into Dalmatia. Alright. Liege entered a coalition. Ooh, this is not good. Can we avoid that battle? No. Oh yes, we could. Wow, that's perfect. Because you don't want to fight those ships. 
I can't tell you that. That is not what you want. Well, we should take this fortress. We've managed to convert those heretics, which is good. We should just hope that a lot of nations will join a coalition right now. That will not be to our benefit. And well, there will be a lot of switches going on. Let's take different provinces, so gonna be a lot of pausing to get to the right province and then continue the war. I'm very sorry for that already, but this is just gonna take time. Because I want to try and do it right. Oh, there are some big armies. Oh, yes, Gold Rush. That's nice. 218,000 men. Well, I guess I should get a big army then. See what we can do about it. Is there a way that we can see what his morale, etc. is? Oh, yeah, morale. Seven. He has six, which is good. Oh, there's naval. Is there a word? I would say army comparison. Discipline. I don't see him in front of us with discipline. We have 115, he has 114. Morale. We have the highest morale, which is good. How high is his morale? 7.5, so we have a lot more morale. Siege ability, we're not that good actually. But yeah, I think we have good numbers there. So let's just wait and see. It's interesting, he can just walk around. Well, we have to, I guess, battle a little bit harder. But we have to focus on his armies now. I'd say. There was a big fight and he lost. Which is good. Should make him run out of manpower as quickly as we can. Oh well, we are the target of a coalition. Which could also pose a problem at some point. This is all interesting. Now let's see if we should advance with this army. 180,000 men. What happens if we attack this one? Well, that one is defeated and completely destroyed. Let's continue. Quite a lot of nations are actually... Mercenary maintenance going up? I don't think so. We have mercenaries now, I don't need to pay more for that. Destroyed another army. So, that's actually looking good. And power wise, he's still really powerful. He's probably making a lot of troops all the time. Wait there, you guys. Took this one. Let's go there. Okay, we didn't destroy that army, but we did a good job. Now let's try and take out that army. Took that, which is good. Shoot. Yeah, we'll continue with that guy because he's really strong. We destroyed another army. I think we are doing a good job destroying all those armies. I think our manpower will run down rather quick, but well, that's okay. Just need these two then. Probably need to split those up a bit. Let's just continue. Let's just keep two guys on hold. Yeah, that's good. We should go to that 
fortress. No troops left here, which is fine. Don't need them at the moment. Just really hoping that the coalition that is forming against us won't just jump us. So that would not be good. I do believe we have numbers down there that are looking good. There, actually, do here. Let's continue. The more fortresses we take, the better. And of course, the more armies we can destroy, the better. So let's continue. Have to be aware of just a really big army. Yeah, there he is. He's going to fight Bohemia, and he's probably going to do a good job there, which is a problem for us because that will weaken us. And we're not going to... Oh, he actually did a good job for a little while. You can check right here. I think, yeah. So, the Ottomans almost out of manpower again. Which is good. Especially if we can keep the manpower a little bit. Alright, let's just continue on our path. Taking provinces as we go. Enjoying it so far. Brandenburg joined a coalition against us, which is not a good thing. We should probably move forward to take a few more fortresses, because that's really helpful. And just fighting with big armies for single provinces might not really be worth it. Let's continue ahead and see what we can do. And perhaps at some point we can knock him off the mainland right here and make sure that he has to walk all the way around, which is good. Oh, he's in another war with... Oh, also with Sweden, of course, which is doing a good job, actually. So that's nice, too. Well, just be continuing down there. We have to be careful of that, but I'm fine. Even if we lose a few armies... Not nice, but we can deal with that. At this point, I'm just... Glad we are actually able to do a nice job. Won the Siege of Ackerman. Well, I guess we should go to Constantine then. And that's there, perfect. 11 war score now, so that should bring us to a point that... actually can really hurt him by taking provinces. Yeah, we took Constantine, which is good. Can't cross there. So, let's just split up and take as many provinces as we can at the moment. And we'll just walk all the way around. Probably have to divide and conquer at some point. And I should probably do this one. Oh, we'll lose that one so we can keep the war one, which gives us extra morale. Which kind of is a big deal at, at this point. Alright, we took another province. Should probably keep some troops there. Took that one, let's continue. Take that fortress if we can. Almost taking that one, so probably... Oh, we can't continue with him anymore. He'll just stay there. What's this? Oh, we'll lose a bit of admin points, that's fine. Two provinces there. Let's continue Upworth. Don't really mind. 
We have a decent war score though. We should probably already see what we can get for that. There is a coalition against us, but that's already there, so that's fine. Well, this is all quite costly. So if we want to take that, we need a bigger war score. Now, he's out of manpower. His army is still way bigger. He has a lot of and lots and lots of mercenaries. Which could also mean that at some point he gets in debt. Which probably is not a real problem for him, but... Well, it's nice to know if he's in debt. And we want the siege down there. Let's just try and take all of this. Our influence over Bohemia. Alright, we'll influence them again. Let's just go straight to that fortress, see if we can hit that fortress. We'll have to grant Captain die. We'll get a new guy. Which gives us more morale of armies, so that's fine. Siege that down. Lithuania's probably so fighting with um, how do you call it? Sweden. Let's take the provinces down here now. Thirty percent. Choose with Poland ended, which is also interesting. Ah, there he comes. There he comes. Perfect. Now these guys should wrap that up, and then we should attack here. Sure, we have those provinces so that he can't just keep spawning troops there. So that is a concern. And I should probably start bringing the troops there. And perhaps at some point there could be a moment that we can actually just walk across. Because his ships are gone or whatever, so I have to keep an eye out that moment. Well, there is a lot going on. Which mainly consists of winning. And so far I like it. I think he's trying to fight Sweden or something. Or Lithuania. And he just decided it might not be worth it fighting us. Set those troops there as well. They are winning there. They should go there as well. Should keep an eye here. Yes. Well, this is almost done. And there he comes. Perfect. Let's just join these up. Oh, he's bringing all his armies down there, which is a threat to those troops. So I should probably be careful with this. Um, but... Well, I can give these guys a decent general, of course. That helps. And probably it's already time to seek out a peace deal. Anyway. This is interesting. We've got a lot of fortress. So yeah, this is a time to seek another peace deal. Can we make him pay? Because if he pays substantial amounts of money, that would be nice. What happens if we try and take a different province? Is that an option? Really? Now well, we can take a bit of his money. Perhaps. Get him even more in debt. Well, I think this is a good peace deal, not too much. Coalition against us won't grow too much. And he will have to pay us 10% of his income for a long time. So, yeah, I liked it. Perfect. So that's done. And, well, now we have to start bringing these armies back. Also have to find 
one of those mercenary workers that I have. Well, let's just start by bringing everything back. And then we can sort it out, I guess. Well, one of these can just take a walk and go there, because that's where I want it. And the other two... Oh, come on. Yes, they can go there. And that should be about it, so let's just keep walking. Or get walking, or whatever. Interesting. So we really struck a blow against the Ottomans, and if we do it again... Again, before the game runs out, which we might be able to do so, that would be perfect. I really hope we can do it again. Alright, so that's the merchant army, so they should be gone. We should probably send these troops to places where I need them to defend my empire. And we should also be careful at some point, because I guess that we are still in the hands of a coalition. Well, this army should come as well. So then I'll keep these here, because I want that. Making good amounts of money. Can we support an extra army? Almost. Which is nice. I'm not going to do that yet, but at some point we can. Upgrade ships. There's no ships that can be upgraded in that fleet. We have plenty of money. Let's work on our religious unity. And Liege left the coalition. Sweden is still at war. Are losing? Not yet. Let's see the coalition map mode. Spain, no longer in the coalition, and its opinion is getting better. Quite a few nations actually didn't improve, but a few did, so that's nice. All our troops are coming back. They are all in the mainland now, which is really good. And yeah, we did a decent job. Let's get the tech. Perfect. Now, I think this is a good moment to end this episode. I really enjoyed it. We have fought a big war with the Ottomans, and we won. And hopefully we can do one again in the next episode. And, of course, I hope you will join me. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.